REMAINERS have ramped up their anti-Brexit rhetoric once again ahead of the final round of negotiations between the UK and EU. The Best for Britain group issued a report which warns the North West and Midlands will be severely exposed to a double economic hit from Brexit and coronavirus if the UK leaves the EU without a deal. Best for Britain CEO Naomi Smith said, This report, which maps the impact of both shocks, definitively rebuts any speculation that the impact of leaving the transition period could be masked by the coronavirus recession. The data is clear, when you scratch beneath the surface, so many key sectors will be exposed to a dangerous double whammy of economic hits. When you map these findings onto the UK's geography, it shows that particular areas of Britain, such as the North West and Midlands regions, will be disproportionately harmed. She continued, these include many former Red Wall seats that switched from Labour to the Conservatives at the last election. With public debt spiralling, the government is boxing itself into a fiscal corner unless it extends the transition period and secures a trade deal at the end of the ongoing negotiations. The report, by the social market foundation Think Tank, commissioned by Best for Britain, was released as EU chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier warned Boris Johnson to stick to his promises or risk a no-deal Brexit. Mr Barnier said there would not be an agreement at any cost. With talks on future trading arrangements seemingly in deadlock over issues like fisheries, Britain has only until July 1 to seek an extension to the transition period. Mr Johnson has repeatedly insisted the UK will end the transition arrangement on schedule at the end of the year. But Mr Barnier has accused Britain of not keeping to its commitments. He said, the UK has been taking a step back, two steps back, three steps back, from the original commitments. The UK negotiators need to be fully in line with what the Prime Minister signed up to with us. Because 27 heads of state and government and the European Parliament do not have a short memory. Mr Barnier said the EU's heads of state remembered very clearly the text which we negotiated with Boris Johnson. He said, and we just want to see that complied with. To the letter, and if that doesn't happen there will be no agreement. Mr Barnier insisted UK withdrawal from the EU was a lose-lose for both sides, saying no one, not even Nigel Farage, had shown there was any added value to the UK's departure. <laughs> 